Okay, so I'll record this session uh, in case you guys need to watch it again. I'm basically going to walk you through your homework, um, especially the uh, thesis statement and the support, supporting paragraph. As we talked about earlier, this is in preparation for the benchmark exam. So uh, there are two things. And remember, you could always check the calendar to make sure you know what's due. So according to the calendar, this Sunday, the birth worksheet is due. It sounds kind of weird, right? Yeah. Birth worksheet. Sounds strange. But that's the theme for this week. It's theme number three. And then this thesis and perfect paragraph. So two assignments. All right. The theme, um, the birth worksheet can be found under themes and literary devices. But let's talk and focus on the thesis statement and support. So you click on this link here, and it'll open up. Let's go full screen there. It'll open up this uh, instruction page, and you just follow the directions. First is to do the tutorial. There's a link. It opens up. Many of you did this in the lab already. You need to actually download it because what they give you in this window is just a preview. It's not the actual slides, so just download them. If you don't have PowerPoint at home, you can still look at the preview and still get the idea of what you're supposed to do. In fact, you can actually download a free PowerPoint viewer that's for free you can get it from Microsoft just google it uh, PowerPoint viewer and um, anybody can get that and it'll allow you to open up PowerPoint slides you can't create new ones or edit but at least you can see them okay anyway uh, looks like it downloaded there so you're gonna run through the little tutorial um, I mean, I could sit there in a tutorial and just go blast through it. Okay, I did it. But, you know, the goal is for you to actually take your time and go through each slide, try to make sure you're understanding what's happening. In the tutorial, I have an example, um, thesis statement, and support. And then I go ahead and break it down sentence by sentence. It's practically a science as far as constructing these types of essays. It's almost like a, like a formula. Um, but there is some art in it as well. There is some creativity. Uh, but there's structure, so it's a little mixture of both. All right, so once you've done the tutorial, then you're going to read and review an article from Newsy.com. We'll do that in a minute. Try to figure out what the issue is, choose a side, and then write two paragraphs based on the prompt. So go ahead and read the prompt, and you're going to upload it to Google Docs and put it in your shared collection. I have an example, if you keep scrolling down, of what, what the assignment should look like when it's completed. I wrote a lot of commentary on it to help, you, to help walk you through this essay. But obviously, you won't have all these comments on yours. The only thing you will have, though, is in highlighted in yellow, is your thesis statement. So make sure you highlight that. That tells me you know what a thesis statement is when you highlight it. Okay? So don't forget to do that. So there's an example. So you've already seen a couple examples. Now let's go ahead and do the article. I happen to just pick this one. Um, let's watch this. It looks like a case of one step forward, two steps back for the women in Saudi Arabia. Al Jazeera reports just two days after King Abdullah bin Abdul Aziz announced women would be allowed to vote in the year 2015, the courts passed a shocking sentence on one of the women who defied Saudi Arabia's driving ban. Typically, breaking the law in this way would only result in a police warning 
and a written pledge they wouldn't drive again. But it seems the government's cracking down. One protester has been sentenced to 10 lashes with a whip, the first time the courts have handed down a sentence on a woman for driving. The woman, identified only as Shima, was found guilty of driving in the city of Jeddah last July. The sentence has sparked outcry from Amnesty International. The Telegraph has the organization's reaction. Allowing women to vote in council elections is all well and good, but if they're still going to face being flogged for trying to exercise their right to freedom of movement, then the king's much trumpeted reforms actually amount to very little. And this could just be the beginning of even more such punishment. CNN has more. Amnesty said a court in Jeddah handed down the sentence for driving to the woman on Tuesday. Two other women are believed to be facing charges for driving, one in Jeddah and one in al Khobar. Shima's lawyer, Adnan al Saleh confirmed in an interview with Arab News that future punishments like this one were a real possibility. The courts now consider any woman driving a car without a Saudi driving license to be committing a crime punishable by lashes. It means that any woman caught driving in the future will suffer the same punishment and maybe even prison. So how can King Abdullah pave the way for voting and then allow this to happen just days later? Well, a writer for Forbes might have an answer. We must remember that the royal family is in the midst of a complicated and delicate balancing act. There will not be linear progress for women as there are still powerful Saudi forces that want to put women in the back room. Women to Drive, a civil rights group in Saudi Arabia, says Shima, has launched an appeal against the verdict. I'm Jim Flink for Newsy. Multiple sources, the real story. Okay, so basically in Saudi Arabia, women are not allowed to drive. Normally, if they get caught, they'll just take your license and you can't drive again. But now they're cracking down on this. So now a woman caught driving in Saudi Arabia without the proper license will be sentenced to lashes, 10 lashes with a whip. And it's not fun in games. Usually draws, the first one usually draws blood. So, we have to look at this and decide on um, what is the issue here. Now, you, I think it'd be very easy to think, oh, uh, women should be flogged for driving. No, 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 no. That's not the issue, you see. That's a whole different news article. This is about Saudi Arabia, first of all. So we're not in the United States. They don't have the same freedoms you enjoy and take for granted okay the issue is should the nation should Saudi Arabia carry out this sentence that's the real question in this article and so if you gotta look at both sides of the issue pro yes Saudi Arabia should carry out this punishment okay is there any reason, can you guys help me out? What would be some reasons why, yes, they, they should carry this out? Because the road will be safer without women drivers. <laughs> the road will be safer without women drivers. Okay, well, there, you have to understand the reason behind the law. They, their church and state are one and the same in Saudi Arabia. So the religion is part of the government. And so it's against their religion for women to take any kind of leadership type of roles. The man runs the house. So for a woman to be driving, that's sort of a, uh, that's a problem. It's, it's women becoming independent or they don't need a man and they don't want that. That's against their religion. So, I mean, what good is a rule if you don't enforce it, right? They're trying to enforce their religion. So that would be a reason why they need to carry the sentence out. They need to send a message that the, the, the religious law needs to be obeyed. If you don't like it, you got to change the law. You see what I'm saying? But you can't change the law when it goes back for centuries and centuries and it's a religious, from a religious book, from Muhammad himself. You can't change that. So you can't change the law. So what do you do? So what would be a reason why they should not carry it out? Anybody? Maybe they can just give out a warning instead. Do you give a warning? Okay, what about after the warning? Us not 
punishment. Yeah, what what do you think about the lashes part? Is that appropriate? No. Okay. So it's like it's So what if there was an emergency, right? Well, that's why they have a court, so the women go to court and they plead their case, all right? But if they lose, then they're saying they get sentenced to some physical punishment. Now, we don't have that in this country. We don't have flogging. You know what flogging is, right? Being beat, basically being beaten. Hmm. You think our crime rate would go down if we had flogging? <laughs> what if we had flogging in schools? Oh, that's terrible. Well, they used to, you know that. Okay. And it'd be the teacher to do it, too. And there are some schools in the South, they still do that. If you forget your homework, they come on over here. Yep. <laughs> Where's my ruler? Sometimes the parents do that as well. And those cows that go back to the whole well, I'll tell you what, though. I had a student who was from the South, and she had just transferred over here from a school where they had floggings and stuff like that. And I'll tell you what, she was super, super respectful. Very respectful. <laughs> yeah, she Well, she wasn't scared. She just grew up that way. So, man, she didn't. A teacher asked her anything. She's just like, yes, sir, yes, ma'am. She just does it. So, I don't know. I'm not saying it's a good thing. That's not even the argument. The argument is whether the state should carry this out or not. So, let's just take a position. Uh, by show of hands, the state should enforce its religious laws that are in place. Okay? Two hands. No, the state should not do this to women. Basically, you're telling me they should not enforce their laws is what you're saying or at least by flogging maybe a different way yeah okay all right so most people said should not well do we have enough evidence let's go ahead we're Alex Trebek today and Alex Trebek is gonna go to his documents he's gonna create a new document you guys did this yesterday but just in case you weren't here do you remember that big long name Yep. It was thesis plus one paragraph, last name, then last name, name, first name, underscore, first name. Yay, not too bad, right? Yeah. Then put your heading in there, which is kind of easy because, let's pull this up again. I'll just go to the sample right here. And I'll just uh, copy and paste it. You guys know how to copy. Control C to copy, Control V to paste. And then just change your name or whatever. Come on, you guys do that all the time, right? Copy a paper and change the name on the, t the top. No. I know you know how to do that one. Yeah. All right, so now let's actually get into it. So I'd have to change the date, you know, and that sort of thing. That's not that important right now. I don't I'm two days behind, okay. Anyway, that's not the important part. Then you want to go ahead and put in um, the title of the news article and the, and the link. Okay. Saudi women sentenced to flogging for driving. Okay. Saudi women sentenced... For driving. Oops. Oh my goodness. Okay, and then um, let's just copy the link right there. Control C and Control V. There, it automatically makes a link for us. All right, so far so good. The next part is you're going to give a little bit of background, maybe two two sentences summary. So, in our own words, what was that whole article about? About women driving. Women, <coughs> Saudi Arabia. Getting punished for driving. Were being flogged 
for driving without a proper license. Some groups say it is inhumane. You know what it means, right? Inhumane. Okay, it means it's not hu you're not like humanity. Humane is to treat animals and people the right way. Inhumane is the opposite. So if a, if a dog is sick, it's humane to put them to sleep. It's inhumane to chop their head off. Okay, that's what that means. So let's say, say that it's, it is inhumane to uh, beat a woman for this violation. Yes. They have to have a legitimate. Well, somehow they must have in their law that they go through the proper procedures to get a license. Well, we don't. Yeah, we don't know what the requirements are for a license. We don't know. It could be maybe they don't have them. Maybe their husband died. You know, there could be certain things that fall within their religious law that allows them to. You know, those exceptions you guys are talking about. Yeah, but we don't know. Yes. If the husband died, wouldn't the parents like choose someone else for her to marry? Yeah, maybe, but we really don't have any background on that. So let's focus on the issue. So some groups say it's inhumane to beat a woman for this violation. Now here's our thesis statement. Women should, or no, is this about women? I don't think so. It's about Saudi Arabia, right? Yep. The government of Saudi Arabia should what? Should not <laughs> beat women for violating driving laws. Do you see how it's very specific? Okay. All right. Well, we need a reason. Because we just need one reason based on our evidence. Let's look at our transcript. Is there any, let's look at those in the bold is the quotes we can pull from. We just need two. You said you only need one. We need two, two quotes. We're going to do one reason, two quotes. Or you can have two reasons, one quote so each. But you need two quotes no matter what. So it's easier to just do one reason, two pieces of evidence. So, uh, anything that supports why they shouldn't get beat? Uh, none of these are going to help us. What's this? Can, oh, this looks juicy. Can we use this piece right here? What does it say? Something about exercising their right to freedom of movement. <laughs> hey, didn't I take that right away from you? You couldn't move, right? Freedom to do what you want, basically. All right, so it's violating a human right, which is the freedom to go from one place to another, right? That's what we have. So, we have a reason now. Okay? Because women should have the right, should have the freedom of movement. Alright, so far so good? Mm -hmm. Okay, so what are we going to do with our thesis sta statement? Highlight it. Highlight it. Now, make sure you don't highlight the entire sentence. The part after because, this is our reason. It's not our thesis. Our thesis is our statement. You guys understand the difference, right? Mm -hmm. So everything after because, that's just reasons. But our statement is, government in Saudi Arabia should not beat women for violating driving laws. Boom. Highlighted. All right? So tomorrow, we'll talk about how to construct the second paragraph that's putting in all our lead-ins and quotes and commentaries.